What is going on everyone? It's Kelly here and we are here in South Florida with Florida Premier Bow Fishing with Captain Chris. I don't know if you all can see him back there behind that light. We got good old Mike. If you guys don't remember, oh it's been, it's two weeks out from a year from our video. Wow. Yeah. That's crazy. So Mike and I filmed a bow fishing slash frog catching video about a year ago in the Everglades. You guys can check that out right here. Bring him in, you stoned him. You didn't just nice hit him, you stoned him. Atta girl, Kelly. You absolutely stoned him, too. Yeah, I didn't even move. Oh, Kelly, you made my night. Thank, Thank you. you. So <laughs> and we got the boys behind me right here. That's how they were introduced to me, so they're just gonna be called the boys all night. But we got some bow fishing setups, and we're gonna bow fish tonight. I'm super excited, but we are gonna get to it. This boat, the rig, everything about this boat is insane. I'll show you guys the motors in a minute later on in the video, but we got some lights wrapped around the boat. That way we can see all the fish that we're bow fishing. Boom. And sorry, it is a little bit loud because them generators have to run these lights, but we're gonna get to bow fishing. So we just hit this side of the canal. Now we're hitting a little U-turn here and we're gonna hit this thing. Smoking, right? Fish in. It's fixing to be full before the night's over. Oh, yeah? I 
hope so. We got enough boat fishermen on the boat. We better have a full bucket. Oh, oh. Food for our snail kites and limpkins. Ah, dang it. Oh, don't push on that. You'll no, clear. I know. I got it. I'll set it down. I'm well, we got an apple snail. <laughs> yeah, literally. What the heck? Dang. Don't cut my hand. Thank you. <laughs> Some things you step on them barefoot, it ain't no good. Did you make like gar balls with them? No, we actually 
actually just flayed it out just like regular fish oh, once really? you got it in there. Yeah, it's just like a white meat little flake. It's almost like eating a chicken, it was like yep. just like a piece of fried chicken. Yep, yeah, yep. Back when I was in Louisiana, we jug lined huge alligator gar and I actually scraped the meat and just put them in like a almost like a fritter and made like gar balls out of them. Pretty good. Not my first option, but definitely edible. Y'all, we are sniping the clown knives right now. We just got another one. We got this one. Clown we got knife. another one in there. Woo! This is pretty good day bow fishing. Shooters. Night bow fishing. So I'm gonna throw him in there, Mike. Yeah. Good. Kelly with the clown yeah. knife. First clown knife on the boat. He's on the string. That thing, that thing went right through. Woo! Oh my goodness. All right, we're gonna. Is that manual? Need some help with that? I got it. I got it. Thank you. That's a good one. Heck yeah. So when you shoot them and they go through the arrow onto the string, you can just. Oh, we did? That's right. Colton, Colton shot the snakehead. 
Uh, we got tilapia, clown knife, snakehead, a few cichlids in there. I think that's it. Banger. So we're gonna go ahead and get some group photos. We're gonna load up. I'm actually gonna take all the fish, put it in my gator coolers in the back of my truck and meet up with Camp Kinnon later and give him all this fish for his pet animals. It is the following day and I'm about to head over to Camp Kennan's house to give him all of our fish that we shot last night. We got one gator cooler full of fish and we got the other gator cooler full of fish. AKA, gator food and I'm super excited to see Slinky because I haven't seen Slinky in so long and he is my absolutely favorite animal that Kenan has now right now I'm about to head over there but I want to talk to you guys a little bit about Captain Chris and his operation that he does he does guide bow fishing charters mostly in Okeechobee however we didn't go to Okeechobee this time because the water level was so high it's been raining a lot here in Florida Finley what are you even he has a water bottle <laughs> um captain chris also guides hog hunts gator hunts florida turkey hunts and exotic hunts as well so you guys check out his information in the link below this video i'll put all the information you guys need to know uh his number email business Instagram, website, everything like that. Be sure to check out Captain Chris. If you guys are in Florida and you're looking to do some insane Florida outdoor activities, he is the man to go to. So right now we have about a 40 minute drive to Camp Kennan where we're gonna feed Slinky. Officially made it over at Camp Kennan's right now. We're at his zoo that you have so. in your backyard but this is camp kennan if you guys don't know him on youtube be sure to check him out oh, and this is oh, sorry, Sophia. I, I, i'm touching Sophia. this is good for your lady's hair oh. when you touch with them <laughs> no. No, i'm just, just kidding i was only using my right hand you're safe kid um yeah this is really cool kel i'm so psyched you came over because i was actually gonna have to put an order in for a bunch of uh rodents and stuff and you just saved me about 500 bucks so nice. thank you this is awesome you're welcome we're actually sorting through the fish now we got tilapia clown knives and his alligators have never eaten clown knife fish so that's going to be super interesting but the only thing i'm going to show you guys in this video is i want to feed my favorite animal that he has and that's slinky which is some type of monitor he's what is an it? asian water monitor and he's my favorite animal here too well next to sophia that is <laughs> next to sophia <laughs> He's just such a cool animal and he has such a crazy, goofy, really cool personality. But right now we're just organizing the fish into different trash bags. That way when he takes them out of the freezer, he doesn't have to pry them off each other. Um, Cause if we were to stack all of these fish into a freezer, all the water and the goo would just make them one big solid block. So we're gonna organize all this fish and then we're gonna meet Slinky. These guys I'm sure, yeah, see look, Oh they, my they goodness. They hear us talking. They hear us talking. <laughs> they know that when I have a guest, oh, and there's <gasps> there's one of the caiman. These, these are the dwarf caiman. Or actually, this is a smooth front caiman. But there are dwarf species, and there's one in the cave. So we can have a peek if you guys oh, want to get a that. nice shot. Oh, wait, but don't go in hold there. Him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Here, I'll grab this. You have the dog, but this is a smooth front. I got to learn how to open my gates. Uh, but this is the smooth front caiman. These guys are from. South America and they're gonna be happy with the fish also and then we have a female here's a little rear end right there oh she's annoyed anyway it's a good time over here Finley you don't want none of yeah. that yeah and we definitely want to make sure Finley is <laughs> held on when we go by the gators in my video yes All right. so over my right shoulder is his alligator enclosure which we're gonna feed his gators in his video but right now we're gonna meet Slinky and I'm super excited. It's been like a year at it's least. It's been a while. Yeah, you haven't been around in a while. So he's gonna have to be a good boy because Slinky, I don't know what Slinky thinks of dogs to be perfectly <laughs> Where honest. Where is he? Well, let's mm -hmm. call him Slinky. And I'm gonna let you do the honors. All right, okay. you wanna feed him. Wait, is my fish in there? Yep. Yes. I hope so. We're gonna feed him this cichlid right here. Yeah, he's gonna be so happy. This, this is an Asian water monitor. These guys actually live in and around water. Oh, oh here he comes, here he comes. Do you want me to, I, I'll tell you what, I'm gonna help you here today, Kel. 
go ahead got and Finn. I got Finn. Right. Get your now he's gonna be excited. Oh yeah. So be careful. I'll make sure I get all the action. <laughs> Just call him. He's coming. Once he sees that fish, we want to get it by his head. Oh my gosh! That's the oh he saw the dog. He's not oh. not sure about the dog. Wait, head first, right? Yeah, just see, be careful it's now. It's hard to hold him. You ready, Slinky? Come on, there we go. Oh, come on, <laughs> Slinky. Good boy. Holy smokes! <laughs> there, you grab that oh and get the good gosh. stuff. Slinky, how'd you like He's that? He is gonna swallow that up. Finley is like, what in the world He's is that? He's protecting mama. <laughs> Slinky, you got so big. Just like that. Done. I would say Slinky's about double in size since I've seen him last time. He's, he's gotten thick. He's gotten big. Yeah, he's gotten big. Slinky, it was nice to see you again. Look at that. He came running out. Last time Slinky was in the like the rocks on the wall here, the fake rocks. And he, it took him a while to come out. He, yeah. he didn't want to come out. No, that was good. That nice. was good. Well done, man. And he was very well behaved with you, which is yes. nice. He wasn't, uh, you know, with me, he just charges me. <laughs> and knows. after he gets a few, he calms down. But that was, uh, that was really good. Well done. Sweet. Perfect. So you guys, we're about to film his video right now. But thank you for watching this video. It's coming to an end. Be sure to check out Camp Kinnon on YouTube. He has some insane critters here in his backyard. I mean, crazy stuff. I thought, I thought owning four chickens was kind of cool, but... This man over here has got a whole zoo. Finley is just exploring, checking everything out. Be sure to check out Chris with Florida Premier Bow Fishing and also his guide and hunts as well. All the information will be in the description below this video. For right now, be sure to subscribe, leave a positive comment, and we'll see you guys on the next one. See ya.